Street poet and philosopher Aubrey Graham once said, Strength isn't always shown in what you can hold on to. Sometimes it is shown in what you can let go of. What's up guys, my name is David. If you've been following along this channel, you know that I'm documenting my process as a record label owner, producer, creative, and artist. Hey Siri, how many days left until 2023? It's 98 days until then. 98 days till 2023. The reality is that 99.93, .93, and yes, I made that number up, percent of people that set out for new resolutions don't complete them. You are going to be the same person in 2023 if you, nah, if you don't learn to change and let go of certain things around you, they're going to keep you in the same place. Odds are, if you procrastinate in 2022, you're most likely gonna procrastinate in 2023. If you're lazy in 2022, all are. you guessed it, you're gonna be lazy in 2023 because there's not this magical fairy dust that just falls upon you on this coming and changing and transitioning to the new year. A lot of people are not willing to transform and change the things around them that is gonna actually cause them to change. If you don't change your environment for this 2023, most likely you're gonna keep being the same person you are right now. If you don't set the goals that are they're gonna challenge you to become someone else and someone better, you're most likely gonna be the same person. And I know what you're thinking. Dang, David, who hurt you, bro? <laughs> Why are you so passionate? Because the thing is, I'm tired of seeing people with the potential to become something great that they cave in to their surroundings. They cave in, they cave in to just wanting to spend and have a good time with their friends, that they wanna give up their dreams because they're not willing to change the one thing about them that needs to be changed. They're not willing to get themselves around better people because they're too used to having the people that they have around them. 10 years down the road, you have people with regrets of like, man, I should have taken advantage of when I had the time. I should have taken advantage of like, man, I had all the time in the world. I had all the energy in the world. I had all the willpower in the world. If you look at the life of Samson in the Bible, or someone with great renown, great potential, strong, and all these things, we know about him because of his downfall, because of what he did wrong, and how in the last bit and moment of his life, he had a little bit of a redemption, but even then, like, a whole life of great potential gone to waste. Samson didn't just change like that overnight. There were certain systems, there were certain things and insecurities in his life that little by little were taking a toll. He started depending on what he knew. Little by little, he didn't change the people around him. Little by little, there were certain mentalities that just became ingrained to him that he was just not willing to question anymore. He just accepted a lot of things. And before we know it, it led to his downfall. I don't want us to enter a new year and just feel like it's gonna be the same year. A lot of you have an opportunity right now to, to stop certain habits, to pick up better habits, to start better habits, to pick up better routines that are gonna, 10 years down the road, create you to become the person that you need to be. In 2019, I went through a rough, a rough process in my life. And I remember that I just felt like, man, like all these, like these dreams that I had just like plummeted. I felt like as if there was no hope, there was nothing for me to do or accomplish. And that my window of opportunity had left me, that I was done, that I was gone. And there was no point in even trying to, for lack of better words, live. I was 20, 21, and I think it was this post like high school period where you lose a little bit of the routine that you gain from going to like kinder all the way to 12th grade and then this, this like weekly grind and like environment of seeing others around you like also grinding along with you, suffering along with you, enjoying and laughing around with you. And you go through this process after where like, well, what am I doing with my life? What am I encountering in my life? And you know what the crazy thing is, is that like at the same time, it almost seems, I don't know if this happens to you, but if everybody else around you is just like succeeding, not only are they succeeding, they are thriving and they're doing a trillion times better off than you. Maybe that was just my case, right? And I remember like not even wanting to get up in the mornings, not even wanting to like do what I had to do and, and being in this rut and I think it, that led a little bit to my weight gain and everything and just feeling like I had no 
no purpose in life. I heard this one preacher say, he has a, a leadership podcast, I'll link him down below. And he says how like, the way you form habits is, or the, the habits that like are gonna long term and 10 years down the road like gonna change your life is that you start right now, you just start and you do a little bit of what you can. And once you start that little one and you master that one, you add a little more and you add a little more and before you know it, this this goes to my concept of if you if you go a couple videos back where I'm talking about getting 1% better. So I remember there was a point where I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of feeling this way. So I remember just picking up on small habits. And let me this this is how basic it was. And it may be how basic you need to start for you to like under like get out of wherever you're at right now and so that you don't waste this next year coming up. This is literally how it started. I would wake up and I'd be like, okay. I have no plans for today. Like I would have to work on that, all that stuff, whatever. But this, this is what I would start with. This is my only plan of the day, okay? This is, uh, catch this, I say, flossing is a, is a healthy habit that I need to pick up on, right? So I remember every single day, that was for the first couple of days, I was like, okay, my only goal today, I need to accomplish is flossing my teeth. And I would floss my teeth, that was my goal, I would accomplish it. I would accomplish it. It got, started getting to a thing. I just, I'm like, you know what, man? Like, I finished my goal for today. You know what? I'm gonna add reading one page today, just one page. And I think I don't know. If, I don't remember if I started just like one a week or one every other day, but just reading more. And that started right. And then commit to that. This is towards the end of 2019, right? That I'm like, you know, I'm gonna commit that I'm just gonna start making music. I, I would go to my room, open up Logic, and I would start producing and. And just, you know what, I want to record it. I want to record videos and put them on my Instagram. Little by little, like, one habit would lead me to the other, and one thing would lead me to another. And before you know it, you're on a, on a, on a grind. It doesn't matter how small it is that you have, whatever you have going on, the, the, the main thing is that you start. In hindsight, in hindsight, you could say the flossing saved my life. Having 98 days left in the year, you don't need to wait till the, tr the year transition's over. You can start today, you can start tomorrow. And why wait for the world to change when you can change the world around you so that you can change the world? I hope that sounded so uh, deep. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. But yeah, it's dope, let's get it.